Hey, what's up, guys? So let's talk about my Bowmaker Parrot 1 a little bit. And uh, let's get up right over here. I'm going to talk about the settings a little bit. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to walk you through my settings and what type of settings I'm using for my Bowmaker Parrot 1. And I'm also going to talk about the, uh, the distance to achieve 120 inch and uh, what it takes to do that and how do you do that properly. So first thing first, let's uh, jump into the uh, picture settings and let me show you what I'm using on the projector for Parrot 1 Bowmaker. All right, so here, as you can see, I'm playing a Prometheus, one of the scenes uh, looped on A and B from my uh, 4K player. And it looks pretty good for a $250 projector. Remember, this is a affordable entry level for you to kind of get your feet wet to understand what projectors are all about. And now, of course, there's better projectors out there uh, with a higher price tag. There's uh, BenQ HD 3550, which is going to give you unbelievably amazing picture quality on a 200-inch or even 300-inch screen, depending how big your room is. Now, let's jump into the settings. Let me show you what type of settings I'm using and why. All right, so let's go to the settings. All right, so as you can see, I have my user uh, mode settings, meaning that I customly have adjusted my own settings. Here's my handy dandy Bowmaker remote controller, and which also glows in the dark so you can see what you're doing. Let's click on it. All right, so a couple of things. First thing first, uh, contrast and brightness. Guys, you want to leave this always on 50. And people ask, well, why? Well, that's because this is not a television. It's not a LED backlit LCD panel. This is a LED lamp projector with a lens, okay? So, it has nothing to do with a television. They're two different things, okay? Please do not compare projectors to televisions, for the love of God. They're two different beasts, all right? It's like comparing apples to oranges there's two different things okay they might they might give you the you know the the same picture notion that there's something playing on a screen but they're two different things the reason you don't want to now you're going to ask but but why you don't want to move contrast why you don't want to move brightness i know you're going to be asking that question right now but why well here's why because you already have 6000 6,000 lux. Lux is the uh, just another phrase, another word for a LED uh, peak brightness, if you will, for the LED lumens brightness. How many lumens of light is that lamp uh, producing? And what it's producing right now, it's 6,000. So you already have 6,000 lumens brightness. So therefore, you are already getting a as bright as it can be picture quality here so you want to leave brightness and contrast alone all right and whatever contrast ratio you have on this bow maker that's what you have moving the brightness down all you're going to do is you're going to crush your black levels so don't move the brightness down because you're going to crush your black levels now here are the two things you need to uh, uh, to adjust your sharpness is the most important I move my sharpness to 34. Normally it stays at 50 default, but you don't want the sharpness to stay at the 50 default because when it stays at 50 default, what happens is then on the big giant 120 inch screen, look how small my OLED is. Look, it looks like a monitor compared to 120 inch. What happened is when you reduce sharpness, when you move sharpness to, to 50 and above, then the outline, digital sharp outlines become more visible on every and each pixel. Like every and each pixel becomes sharper and that's not good. Then you see that, that everything looks kind of like, like it has dots in it and it's not gonna look that good on the projector, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna move the sharpness to 34 to keep the picture quality smooth, all right? So this is why you want to move the sharpness to 34. Color, I left the color at 53 because 
I just needed a slight little bit pop on the color. That's it. That's all. And that's why I moved the color to 53. Now, moving on to the um, color temperature. Color temperature, this is something you always want to leave at medium. You know, here, here's the reason why. Because this is a projector. If you move the color temperature to a cold, it's going to look too blue. And it's just it's going to look kind of weird. Okay, if you keep it at warm, it's going to look too yellow. So you want to avoid uh, the blue and yellow. Okay, it's like having a blue filter or a yellow filter. What you want to do is you want to keep it in the middle, balanced medium. So that way you can get a nice balanced color temperature so you can see the movie the way it was meant to be seen. All right, so keep the color temperature at medium. <sighs> okay? Because you're going to be watching mo mainly the movies anyway on this thing, okay? And the projectors are really meant, guys, projectors are really meant for the movies. So keep the uh, color temperature at medium. All right, what else we have? Let's... Uh, aspect ratio, just keep it on automatic. That's where it should be. Noise reduction, keep it at low. Um... I mean, you can keep it at middle if you want to, but I would still suggest to keep it at low, honestly. Just keep it at low. Keeping it in the middle, it becomes um, it becomes too soft, so I would just keep it at low. Just keep it at low. And pro projection direction depends on how you set it up, you know. Are you on the front on the desk or are you not? HDMI, HDMI mode doesn't have to be PC. I just chose to be a PC, just my own personal preference. It doesn't have to be. You can choose it to audio video if you want to. Uh, you know, it's up to you. But I would still prefer that you keep it on audio video because audio and video uses uh, a YC Y uh, uses a Y four twenty instead of RGB. Okay, so it, instead of using a RGB, it uses a Y four twenty. And that's what you're going to be using on the HDMI 2.0. It's the Y420. So just keep it on uh, audio video. All right. So now let's uh, go ahead and let's turn the lights on. Let's talk about the um, the the distance. Let's talk about a distance. And uh, how do you measure, how do you figure out what's the best distance for you to achieve 120 inch so uh, let's talk about that all right so it really depends on uh, your room first the first thing you need to do when it comes to setting up your projector you need to figure out okay where am i going to be placing this projector if you're living in a small apartment then you have to measure your room where you're going to put it or your living room you have to measure the square footage. How big of square footage do you have? Is it 300 uh, square foot? Is it 400 square foot? Is it 600 square foot? I don't know. This is something you have to measure. It's your house. It's your apartment. You need to measure your square footage to figure out what your uh, square footage is in your apartment or the room that you're going to be putting this projector. See, so first make sure you measure your square footage of that room where you're going to be placing this projector, and then you can figure out, okay, how much of a distance do I need? Okay, this room I'm in is 360 square foot. So it's not a big room, it's a small room, but I'm able to achieve with seven and a half feet away, right here, with this projector, I was able to achieve 120 inch, which is right over here behind me. As you can see, which is right over here behind me, there it is, 120 inch. Here, I zoomed up a little bit just to show you the reference. And, uh, and you can see just how bright this projector is. Even with the lights turned on, it's still very bright. But please, do not watch your projector with, with the lights turned on. That's not how you're supposed to watch a projector. You're supposed to watch a projector with the lights turned off. And let me give you some more idea just as to how, uh, how big 120-inch really is. 
okay in com in comparison see i ran from the sides there's the ceiling right there just to kind of give you a little comparison as to how big 120 inch really is okay and of course the distance between that projector and then uh where the screen is so again remember make sure you do your research first make sure you uh measure your square foot of that room measure it and then go and check and see what's the distance what's the throw distance the throw distance of the uh the screen size that you can achieve on that certain projector whatever the projector you're buying always make sure you do your research do some testing okay but i can tell you with my bow maker parrot one I'm able to do that with a seven feet away. Clearly you can see seven feet away. There it is, 120 inch with no problems. And last but not least, let's talk about the, uh, well, here we go. My video is gonna end, sorry guys, sorry. Bye bye.